hello guys welcome back in this video let's have a look on a filter called hsl and also invert so right now i've got the preview sphere it's a sample file in the substance painter so firstly we will explore the hsl uh, filter here for that i've got a, a image it's a colorful uh, flowers image so i would like to add a fill layer first in that i'm going to add a fill substack layer in that i'm going to put this color image which i've got with me and I'm just putting here into the base color and you should be able to see this result. Now, as uh, the name suggests, HSL means hue, saturation and lightness or HSV, hue, saturation and value. Okay. So when I'm just taking this uh, filter, okay. And then when I'm just picking this HSL filter, we have uh, hue, saturation and lightness um, in regular and perceptive modes. So let me just uh, click for the default it's perceptive for the default um hue saturation and lightness are very commonly used color correction tools so again filter this filter is used to color correct your images when you are looking for some sort of color correction so hue is basically the color so yellow red green blue etc are the hues of the color so when i'm just sliding this you could see that colors are keep on changing there so yellow flower can turn into red also green or blue or cyan so it can take any of the colors throughout the spectrum as you keep sliding them okay the default value is 0 0.5 however we will we will try to see if i change this to regular and perceptive there's no much difference here in terms of hue is considered uh, the next one is the saturation saturation uh, is like how much amount of color is there if there is no color the picture turns to be black and white so as I reduce the saturation value, the picture turns to be a black and white picture. And when I increase that to a value of one, it becomes an oversaturated picture. Okay. However, you could generally see there is a difference between the regular one and the perceptive one. You should be able to see the regular one is uh, trying to preserve that richness, that details of the picture as well as it's saturating. Okay. Uh, but when I change it to perceptive, it's completely flattening up things. So uh, I, it's it's basically uh, not recommended but sometimes if you got a skin map and maybe if you are getting some uh, unique details then go ahead and try but regular is a decent one in terms of saturation is considered okay so let me put this value to 0 0.5 back then we have the lightness and you should be able to see when i'm increasing the lightness uh, that the colorful picture is turning into a white object and the see see the way it's gradually turning into white same way the uh, lightness value makes it dark when i'm uh, reducing the value and see the way it's becoming black okay uh, but if i change this to regular okay okay as i increase this you should be able to see the lightness is gradually expanding from the brightest part of the picture to the whole um, picture like that it's it's gradually expanding through the range of colors right same thing is happening the blacks are expanding from their dark ranges and gradually it's making picture dark right it's not uh, happening in the perceptive it's turning the total picture black and this is what happening in the saturation also but it's much clearer in this lightness so hue saturation and lightness are basically used for color correction in simple words and uh, this is one thing okay the next thing is we have invert so what we are going to do is we will maybe delete these layers and then choose some color now what we are going to do is uh, we will add uh, a layer on top of it okay a layer which will have just a height and the height will be minus and then we are going to add a fill in this and then i'm going to choose the procedural textures okay you could explore them maybe i'll take this one and drop it in the height i should be able to see that the bump is achieved I've just uh, applied that in the fill of that. So the next filter is uh, the invert filter. So I'm adding that filter there and I just go and then choose invert it. But what, I, what has happened here? So let me take the height. So it has inverted this picture actually. So we would uh, rather use that. Actually it should uh, show up li uh, like negative bump, but it's um, not showing. Let me just choose the height option and then choose this to normal so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this on the other way so i'm going to add a mask first and then add a fill and in fill let's add that texture 
that gives this a nice bump let me try to add a filter there and uh, let's pick the invert i should be able to see the difference of the bump without invert it's giving me the cavity with invert it's giving me the bump for the same value of colors okay so you can use this uh, same mask in the color also um let me just go to the color and then give it a color there okay and uh, you can actually do some other filters also that is maybe levels and then just try to control it okay so it's that simple to use it um, if you got any questions let me know in the comment section